Hi there, I'm Josh from Fugo, and today I'm going to walk you through setting up a Raspberry Pi for digital signage with Fugo. The Raspberry Pi is a mini computer that plugs into TVs, monitors and other digital displays. And like any other PC, you can use it to browse the web or stream content, albeit with some performance limitations. It's a favourite among tinkerers and techies who use it to build a wide range of DIY hardware projects. Its low price and wide availability have made it a cheap entry point for digital signage, functioning as a DIY solution. Pricing starts at just $35 and goes up for devices with more storage. This new RPI4 has some advantages over its predecessors. It has up to 4GB of RAM, supports 4K video and has dual HDMI ports for powering two screens at once, either in a mirror configuration or an extended desktop setup. With that said, this device does have some obvious drawbacks. The setup is more complex than with other plug and play devices like the Nvidia Shield, Fire Stick or Chromebit. You'll need to buy and assemble other component parts, including a case, power supply and an SD card. Unlike other digital signage media players, there's no manufacturer support for the Raspberry Pi. And finally, it struggles with power intensive content like animations or split screen layouts. For dynamic content, you'll need a more robust player. To sum it up, this player is best for users who want to display very simple content on screen, such as images and videos, and who are able to handle the more complex configuration it takes to get your Raspberry Pi running Fugo. We recommend using the new Raspberry Pi 4. It's what I've got here with me today, and it's what I'll be using for this demo. So let's get started. Here's what you'll need. You'll need your Raspberry Pi player, I've already got mine in a ventilated case, a USB-C connector and a power adapter, an SD card reader, a HDMI to micro HDMI cable or a micro HDMI adapter and a micro SD card. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to skip over connecting your component parts and jump straight into installing Fugo, but I will include a link for the Raspberry Pi configuration in the description below. I've got my SD card inserted into my computer and the first thing that I'll do is download the Fugo image and I'll drop the guide containing that link in the description. I'll unzip the file and write it onto my RPI flash drive using Balena Etcher. I'll click flash from file, select the extracted image, click select target, choose my SD disk, click flash. If you're a Mac user, the OS will ask for a password at this point and then I'll wait while it writes the image. Once that's done, I'm going to configure my Wi-Fi hotspot. Our Raspberry Pi image supports an auto hotspot feature that allows you to configure your player's internet connection using any other Wi-Fi enabled device. To do that, boot up your Raspberry Pi. Connect to the Fugo RPI access point on your phone or computer. Navigate to the link shown on screen in your web browser. Choose the Wi-Fi network you'd like your Raspberry Pi to connect to from the drop-down list and enter its password. If the list of Wi-Fi networks is empty, refresh the page. At this point, your Raspberry Pi will reboot and connect to the access point you specified. Once it's rebooted with the Fugo image, you'll see a pin displayed on the screen. So head over to the Screens page in Fugo CMS on your laptop or PC. Click Create Screen and enter the pin to pair it to Fugo. And voila, your screen is ready to start playing content. I'm just gonna publish a playlist now to the screen and let's see it in action. Boom, there we go. So, this screen is currently being casted through this Raspberry Pi. Okay, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our help center for more guidance using Fugo and get in touch with our team at support at fugo.ai if you need help setting up your Raspberry Pi.